Hey, what's up, YouTube? Chris Gardner here. Today is January 7th, 2022, and that makes it the second day of having kids at home after the Christmas break with the online schooling. So I thought I would share some software that could help supplement that time at home uh, with some guilt-free screen time that is hopefully still entertaining for your children without, you know, necessarily giving you a guilt trip for having them in front of a screen again. What I'm going to show you is built to run on these super small Raspberry Pi computers, which if you're not familiar are, you know, relatively low cost products. This isn't a video about Raspberry Pis, so I will let you dig into those. They are very cool though. Great learning tools for kids, but you actually don't need one of these to do what I'm going to show you today. I have a Raspberry Pi and it runs the educational software I'll show you, but I also have, uh, you know, some scrap laptops that kind of get given to me or someone's going to throw out, but they still work. And that's a great candidate for loading this up. So I'm going to show you uh, a process that's very much the same, whether or not it's on this or if you are going to repurpose an old computer. First things first, we are here at Raspberry Pi. We want to get software. This is their operating system, and we are going to put a new operating system on, let's say, an old MacBook, which I've done, and it works great. It was maybe a 2008 model, and we just put this Raspberry on there, and now the kids have this uh, computer they can use for playing some educational games in their playroom. So we're going to go here. Well, I'm on a Mac OS right now because this is what I record uh, videos on best. Uh, you could do it on Windows. So you're going to get this. It's just basically... Um, something to prepare a USB key to transfer this Raspberry Pi operating system over. So we're going to choose, you know, you're going to download this. I'm not going to do it right now because uh, it's, you know, it's maybe a 10 minute process and you don't actually need to see it. We're just going to download it, open the little package it gets, and it, it will ask you a few questions about saving to uh, a certain USB key, uh, etc. You would go through that process here. So assuming that you have plugged your key into the new computer, whether it is a Raspberry Pi or your old obsolete computer, you can now move into that system. I am going to VNC into it so that I can still record in my Mac and it has a lower resolution. So we're going to have some black bars around the edge. Uh, that is something that you can adjust and it won't look that way if you plug it into a real screen or if it's on your laptop. I was nearly all the way finished on the editing for this video when I thought to check, hey, maybe, uh, you know, Gcompre is available on other platforms and turns out it is. So if we just go here, you can get it on Windows devices, even relatively old ones such as XP, if you still happen to have something like that. Uh, Android, so you could put it on a tablet, which is great. Maybe your kids already have a low budget or low cost tablet. And of course, directly for Mac, tested for 10.13. So that's a little old, not sure you're going to get it to work. Uh, Raspberry Pi is obviously in there and regular Linux, other distributions uh, should work as well. So just wanted to chime in with that. You know, maybe you don't need to watch the installation portion of this video and you can skip right ahead. Okay, and for LeoCAD, the other one I mentioned, look at that, available for Windows as well and Mac as well. I put mine on its own separate computer because, well, I don't want my kids playing with my regular computers that I sometimes rely upon for work. I'd rather them have something that's maybe uh, a little more purpose-built for them and can be treated as such because, you know, I have two young boys and they break a lot of toys, so I'm not going to be giving them brand new MacBooks, brand new iPads, things like that. So when you are in your Raspberry Pi, you've got it all loaded up, you're going to have a little screen that looks something like this. Um, it's basically just like a Windows desktop. And here I am in an add remove software window. Uh, this Raspberry is like a Windows start menu. We're just going to go down here, preferences, add remove software, and here we go. Type in Gcompre, search it, and here we go. We've got it already installed here, that's why it showed up with check marks. But if you want to install it, and this is all free software, by the way, everything you find in here, um, you would basically hit those check marks, hit apply, it'll do a little bit of work. And then next thing you know, you will have a link. Um, so as you can see, there's a few other ones I've installed. Child's Play is something similar, but this G Compre is the most thorough educational product I've found 
on these little computers. So we've got G-Comp Prix. I'm going to tell you about two other games after, but let's focus on this one. So we're going to, we can close out of here. We're going to come back to this later. So just remember how you got here. Uh, there's a couple others we will install. I'm not going to show you those steps. I'm just going to tell you their names. Now, here we are in the main interface of G Compre. So it's kind of, you know, it's set up. It'll look good on a tablet, as you can tell. Uh, nice big buttons for the kids to click on. This is kind of like their home menu where you can set their particular favorite game selection. So we've got tic-tac-toe against a computer here uh, that my son can keep himself busy for for a little bit. And so, you know, this is his favorite section. And then each of these is a, is a different category. So we have, you know, traditional games. So connect four type thing, play checkers, play chess. And then these are against computers and against friends. Tic-tac-toe, like we've just seen. Uh, you know, more focused on words and letters. So following words, this is just like a typing tutor. Uh, get them familiar, get your children familiar with a keyboard. Uh, more spatial visual puzzles over here. You know, this is kind of if you played mastermind board game as a child, it's kind of, you know, that. Um, and also they have these little stars with everything and these little sunshines. So the sunshines you can use to pop it onto your main kind of quick reference. Uh, make it easy for your kids to find these games that may become their favorites. And these stars represent uh, a difficulty level. So, you know, in the case of my my three-year-old, he's ready to play some of these one-star games. My, um, my five-year-old, he likes to play, you know, kind of a wide range. There's some of these red ones that he can handle. And, you know, he, he's quite entertained by some of the, uh, the two and the three star. But, but really, like, for a young age children, this is a great software uh, to get them started with. And then even over here, just learning to interface with a computer uh, is part of the, the platform. So this is, you know, a game that revolves around moving your mouse to uncover these blocks. And it seems simple to you and I as an adult, but... You know, to my three-year-old, this is, you know, it's an, an attainable goal that he can have. And it's it's fun. He's uncovering an animal and whatever, right? So um, games like that. And then we click on this one in the sciences, I guess it would be. And you can get into these things like, you know, building circuits, um, understanding light, primary col colors of light. I'll just show you this one. It's one of my son's favorites. Um, it's in the kind of games category here. Hexagon. It's it's Imagine Minesweeper, but color coded like hotter, colder, and they're just out finding some strawberries. So, you know, we're getting hotter, hotter. I'm gonna find the strawberry. There we go. Not bad. Um, so that's about all I will show you for this G Um It is not playing the sound right now because I am VNCing through the through my home network, so the sound's not coming through but there are verbal instructions for each of these games, like balance the scales or click to drag one to here, you know, whatever uh, the instructions for that game are. Now, another game I'm gonna show you here in the games, this one came pre-installed on Raspbian Buster. It didn't come pre-installed with Raspbian Bullseye, as I've noticed this week. Uh, we're gonna click on this Minecraft Pi, so you can get your kids started in creator mode of Minecraft. I never played this when I was younger, um, I've only just started picking it up after I noticed it came with the Pi and uh, that it's basically a Lego building blocks game where you get to kind of construct and affect the world around you. So I think that's pretty cool concept for kids to get started with early. And here we go. Now it doesn't really work through VNC as you can see. It's just glitching out with my with my mouse movements. This is made to play with the keyboard and the mouse directly attached to the computer. So we're not going to check this out too much, but it's just it's creator mode of Minecraft. Um, so another thing that they can occupy their time with. So we'll close this one up and move on to one more. So over here in the education column, um, installed exactly the same way as we did the GCOM pre, is uh, we can type in this Leo CAD, which is just Lego. They take the G out uh, and computer aided design. So we get to make all sorts of cool Lego stuff in here. Uh, you know, limitless potential, you're not bound by colors or what you might be able to purchase or find in stock. Um, they have a lot of unique pieces. Now they don't have the, uh, my son's been into the Jurassic Park pieces and we haven't found any for that software yet. 
Now this is a little big for my five-year-old. I think this is probably like a six to seven-year-old toy. Interface is a little bit difficult. You kind of need a keyboard and a mouse control. So, you know, to drag, I'm holding shift and right-clicking here to select. I'm left-clicking. Got to zoom in with the wheel of the mouse so you know it's, it's a little more complicated than a click and point type tap game. Uh, I think there are some parents who could really appreciate something like this for their kids at home right now. So we will leave it at that. I think we covered three great pieces of software that can help occupy your kids. If you are at home, it's winter time. Schools are not maybe taking in-person class where you are. So let's figure out some other good stuff to do instead. Anyways, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. More videos coming out soon. If there's anything else you want to see from me, leave a comment below. That would be great. If you want to share this with some other parents who may find it useful, even better. And we'll see you at the next one.